So, so, I'm, so I'm Sol Perlmutter, and I'm a professor of physics at Berkeley. I'm Rob McCoon. I'm a professor of law at Stanford. I'm John Campbell. I'm a professor of philosophy here at Berkeley. And, and it was really a, a, a group activity, not just with faculty, but with, uh, with you know, the whole uh, academic community in the sense that we put a, we put a sign up saying, uh, you know, I think we're saying like, are you, are you embarrassed watching our society make decisions? Come help invent a course, come help save the world. And about 30 some students started meeting every week at the end of, I think it was the end of Fridays, like at four o'clock in the afternoon, we go on until six or seven, uh, often trying to figure out what would be a set of ideas that would be worth teaching. Yeah, and it was interesting you know, to realize that many of these things are things that we think of as being what scientists just take for granted, but I realized it was never taught in any science course that I've ever taken. I mean, almost none of these topics um, have been taught. Working scientists, just through osmosis, learn all these things about how to solve problems with people you disagree with, and it's not written down anywhere. And um, you now hopefully we've, we've captured some of, some of that sort of tacit knowledge and made it more explicit in the, in the book. Um, and the other thing is how woven science is into everyday life, uh, that really a hundred years ago you, you, you could be pretty untouched by science, um, but now you just can't. The simplest decision involves you evaluating something scientific. And there's so many more experts available. Absolutely. You can yes. go onto YouTube and you can find all yes. these experts and they're not all saying the same thing. And it's like, how do you, how do you sort among all these expert claims? I think humans just crave certainty. It's so great when you go to the doctor and the doctor tells you exactly what's wrong with you unhesitatingly. You don't want to be told 90% chances tuberculosis. You want to know for sure what the thing is. Um, and living in an uncertain world means we just have to let go of that. I mean, th there's some simple things you can do without any special training that can become part of your life. What we're trying to capture is a set of habits of mind and a set of habits of community. Some of the things that have made scientists work together effectively that you don't have to be a scientist to deploy. I mean, anybody can do this in their life. You don't, you don't have to be a scientist.